beautiful people wherever you are in the world it's a beautiful 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 day once again and i welcome you to the divine truth where we bring out the truth in any concept so today i'm going to speak about the law of karma and <laughs> i'm going to speak about i'm going to have four videos on it which is four episodes or first sessions or you can say four parts and the first part is going to be about stealing or you can say theft or whatever that you want to call it is the first episode of the law of karma <laughs> so now Zulu found out today that all the time when he said that he was in fasting for three weeks all the time when he had no food and all his, his food was ending or just vanishing out of the blue and he questioned himself so many times only to find out that because of his room doesn't lock his his lock broke down a few months ago his, his own we can say roommate but not in the same room, room th those people whom he shares the room with where he's renting was stealing his food all the time so <laughs> instead of him feeding two people he was feeding more than two people 10 kg of maize meal will only last for 5 days 30 eggs will only last for 5 days and he wanted to blame his younger brother so today when he woke up he started to go in nature and he started to do what he does every single day that's when he realized is that people have been stealing his food and he, he, he blamed them for, for a few hours that why are they stealing my food? Why are they doing this to me? I'm so much devoted to the divine. What's going on? And that's when <laughs> he started to realize that back in his time he used to be a thief too. Because he thought that stealing money is bad but stealing food as long as it's for survival is the same thing. And Truth be told, people stole his food because of the same motivation. So basically back then, Zulu used to steal. He remembers back then when he was staying at Mafike in Stuma Park, he used to stay with his cousin. He called him, he calls him his cousin. And when he stayed with him there, they used to stay with his cousin's uncle. And whenever they run out of food, <laughs> they would steal the food of their uncle every single time and they will make sure that they do it in a way that she doesn't sus he doesn't suspect a thing and they got away with it many times it was so much fun that they would steal another person's food but little did they know that there is a law of karma and no matter how how great or how smart we think we are we always have to pay our debts and he started also to remember that he also used to steal food the moment he came here in Letabile he used to stay in block B at the other place there not the place that he's staying at now <laughs> and there the guy who, who, who was their landlord he used to leave the key on the door under the mattress Tolu and his other friend used to use that key to get in and steal the food <laughs> and truth be told now he's paying his debts so how does karma work first and first Tolu realized that we are all one there is no another and once Tolu got that rule and that law right he started to realize that 
every time when he stole something because stealing is more like taking credit it's almost the same thing and whenever you steal something you open the door for others to steal from you what you do unto another you do unto yourself so there will come a moment when you have to, to pay your coming debts and that day for Tolu has come he's paying his coming debts and as he realized that he started to be much grateful <laughs> he started to appreciate the, the experience that now he's awakening and because he's awakening all his debts has to be paid and as he realized that then that's when he started to realize that the law of karma works whenever you do something you do it unto yourself so if you steal they're gonna steal for you that's why they say if you do something unto another they're gonna do something unto you that's the law of karma and that's how it really works and nobody can get away from it that's why they used to say what goes around comes around so basically nobody can run away from karma Tolo landed the hard way because he thought he ran away from karma every time he did something he thought that he was doing it for good as long as he was justified on doing that he would steal other people's food but whenever whatever that you do against another's will somebody else will do it against you also so everything that we do is recorded in the coming debts book and every single time we have to pay our debts and right now Tolu is paying his he's paying his debts corner to corner so stealing happens in so many ways and Tolu knows that experientially and now he's paying the debts for it so the law of karma is a beautiful law because we are all one what you do unto another you do to yourself <laughs> so once Tolu started to realize that he started to be grateful because he knows that everything that he does out of joy he's getting me back that's why right now he's manifesting money corner to corner every hour he's manifesting money corner to corner and it's a beautiful journey and a beautiful experience for him and he realized that whatever that he does doesn't go unnoticed but it's an investment everything is an investment he realized that early in the morning when he woke up and just went outside just go and look at his plant as he was looking at his plants he started to realize that plants teach us a beautiful lesson it teaches us that when we plant them it takes days we have to be patient keep watering it since well water represent acceptance keeps accepting the plants as they are keeps keep accepting them as they are because water is an element of acceptance so as you water them you are accepting them and then as you are accepting them then they are growing 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 <laughs> that's the beauty of this life so with that being said <laughs> have a beautiful 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 day from me to my fellow Asha I say be amazing be awesome and be blessed <laughs>